Hello everyone, welcome back to our monthly webinar session hosted by Drona HQ, where we introduce you with uh, many different features and uh, functionalities of Drona HQ platform and help you to understand how you can make power apps using low code power tools. And uh, today our agenda is to build a very, uh, build a Slack command under 10 minutes, which will use uh, chat GPT and AI with the help of our, our own automation present in our domain. So my name is Shivam Dhar. I'm developer advocate on Dhar at Dhar HQ. And today I'm going to show you how to use automation to build a Slack for uh, and, and use it to retrieve data using a just a slash command. So let me just quickly share my screen. So now when I, uh, I'm talking about uh, this whole Slack command, this is basically using the automation features available in uh, Donatio platform. The automation allows you to, uh, to perform a task on a repetitive manner and uh, user can uh, select when you want to uh, perform those tasks and under which, which or under what conditions. So there are basically two types of automation, uh, two types of automations, uh, known as a uh, scheduler and web. These two are these two are present as a trigger part in the automation. And whatever we do, whatever the task we perform, all those come comes under those trigger points. Okay. Now, introduction for use case. So, building a Slack command with Drona HQ automation builder. As I have uh, mentioned earlier, we will be using Drona HQ's automation builder to create a Slack command, and uh, which will help us to retrieve. Which first, it will send the data, and it will generate a response and retrieve the data in our own workspace. Now, the automation uh, which we will be using will be Webhook, since it will have a endpoint or open API from where we will retrieve the data. Simplify the process and designing powerful workflows. Use case building a Slack command with chat GPT API integration. Now we have an inbuilt uh, connector, third party API ready for you known as open API, which uses chat GPT API integration and that will be used to complete our project or you can say complete our this use case. Applying principles to retrieve the data, send the data, and also integrate with other apps. Now, whatever the, there are three things. Uh, the Slack, there is uh, automation, and also there is open AI connector. We have to integrate all of them together to create a whole functioning use case. Now, Drona HQ Automation Builder Overview. So, this is the just a basic overview. I will show you from, uh, in the let me share my screen of studio of Dona HQ account and so this is the page of automation. You can see there are several automation already being created and there is a trigger section which is containing scheduler as well as web. And the status are also mentioned whether they are in currently used uh, will be mentioned as enabled and if not then it will be disabled. So let's create a new automation. Let's say ask AI Now, uh, let it load. So the first thing it asks to select a trigger. As I mentioned earlier, there are two triggers, scheduler and web. Scheduler is basically uh, used or performed on the time frame or the date or time you provide it to do the repetitive task or recurring options and webhook web is triggered when an event is received on its url endpoint now we'll be using webhook webhook will provide us with the endpoint url and the event request now you have to understand that this particular url will support get as well as post methods so first part will be to send a uh, create an example or to send a payload to this web uh, endpoint URL and then 
the step will be to retrieve the data using this UI. So before we move for, uh, ahead, I will go quickly to the Slack account. Now, if you go to Slack API applications, you have to create a new app. So let's create a new app. Uh, let's see. Select the workspace. Awesome. Now, under this, you can see there are different features and functionality which you can configure, like incoming web of interactive components, event substitution, permission bots, and slash one. So, our first uh, thing we want to do here is to uh, go to the slash command. Now, oh, where is the slash? Here is <clears throat> under feature you can find the slash command. Create a new command. And the command is something which you want to use it in your workspace or the slash command. So I want it to be ask AI. Request URL will be the webhook endpoint URL. So I'll just simply copy and paste it here. Short description, ask anything to AI. Agent, uh, yes, or so this is the preview of our command slash command code for analysis, which looks good. Ask me, I see. Awesome. Now, the next part, we will go back to our automation in our Drona HQ. So, the webhook URL, we have set it, right, uh, for the use of in our Slack ID. Now, next part is to uh, send an event to the webhook manually via curl. Now, this curl request... Uh, it's need to be used as to send a payload or send the uh, whole data what we want to do. Now, simply copy it and I'll open Postman. Meanwhile, let me show you uh, what exactly this will enable us to build. Let me quickly open it, open up an example for you. So right now, uh, you can see I'm on my Slack desktop app, and here, this is a channel of ChatGPT. As you can, this is a test channel. You can see if I do a slash command of ask ChatGPT and write uh, what is the capital of India. It will. It is showing me a success, and it is coming. Oh, just a second. I think the channel has been changed, so it is coming a different channel. It is show why it is coming under the webinar channel. Okay. So this is what we are going to build, and I think the postman is loaded. Let's go back. Let me share. So coming back to my postman id i'll click on import click on raw text and here i will paste my curl request so there is my curl request it is a post request click on continue click import and here we are so right now if i click on send it will save the data as name john this is the payload which it will see, but this is not what we want to be sent to our automation, right? 
what we want is bunch of uh, what we want is to send the details such as what slash command we are sending what text or what query we are sending right so for that let me copy and paste the payload i have okay so now here i have this payload in front of me where uh, you have to uh, we have to make sure that the command is ask ai which is similar to it, it should be exactly similar to what we have set in the slack id or as, in the, as a slash command uh, which is ask ai and next uh, the text okay capital india it's okay that then we have to go let's click on send it should give the sample data is successfully saved now when i go back to my studio account and uh, click on full sample json here okay so now we have the payload right here we we want to use this so under here in the first branch i want to check whether the payload i am receiving is has the command similar to as asti so what i'll do i simply go here select the webhook dot tag first command and check whether it is equals to slash asti now it is showing me a true because since the payload has a similar command which i want so click on okay now under this the first thing i want to add is a connect of third party ready api of open ai now this open ai uh, i have already configured with my own account and this is a or a ready third party api so you only need to provide it the uh, uh, authentication key and a name for it that's it so the endpoint i will be using for this particular is generate chat gpt response now click on it i'll select my own id and here we have to fill the details now the first thing is the model if you go to the uh, reference articles of OpenAI, you will find that the model which it used for the response are ChatGPT4, GPT3.5 Turbo, and these all these things. So I will be using 3.5 Turbo and message history. So here you have to understand that the payload what OpenAI requires is first the role, like with whom he wants to talk, and the second is the content. Which is the capital of uh, which is exactly like what we want to send as the text from the slash command. So what I'll do, I'll write here. I'll simply copy this and put it here for you. And role we have user content and their content we don't want it to be hello rather than we want it to be hello dot text. Now if I see down below the role is user content is capital of India. Let's do a res refresh response. Let's see it. The capital of India is there. Okay, so this is working. Done. Continue. You can see that here I have using I'm um, using the variable uh, keywords. Uh, I'm using the keywords to reference with the webhook dot text. So this is the payload which we are getting from the Slack uh, Slack, and this will contain the text which is exactly the question you want to ask to our AI. And this will be used in this particular format, which is mandatory for OpenAI endpoint. Now click on continue, add a variable. So this variable must contain the end output or result message content. Let's give it name or this variable as response. Click on finish. 
click on now on success first thing you want to do is click on is to get the details in your channel right send message to a channel now i'll select continue select channel now the channel name i have for this let me get the channel name for my slack id i'll simply copy and paste it and the message so message will be similar to gen generate chat gpt response dot so this is the output from our previous open ai connector which we will use as a message to, uh, to send to be sent to our slack channel now let's click on continue and do finish under error let's say i want for the safe side i will click on slack so you must understand that these the the if uh, the connectors which we are using are ready third party connectors these are already been there with configured endpoints and everything you just have to provide your account details to make a successful connection now send message to channel channel this So this is the whole structure for our webhook to create an automation on Ask AI Slack, which will use a slash command. The final step would be to install the app. Now, you are, if you go back to Slack API application, we have created the slash command. We have created the app. Now the last part would be click on install app and install to workspace. So right now our work is done here. Let's move back to our Corona HQ Slack channel. As you can see, this was the channel ID which I put it earlier. I put earlier and there let's say ask AI. Right, right, code of the static website. Dispatch to okay i think uh, we haven't published it yet so let me publish it again so publish it from my don't hq account let's do publish It is giving me a success. Now let's wait. What has gone? And if I go back, let me show you how this particularly works. And if I just go back here uh, to my this automation, click on logs. You will see that this is the log which uh, which has started, and it will it is sending a payload right here with the body, and it has this write a code for static website. And then it started, completed, completed, completed. So this is a whole run log uh, without any error. Now, if I go back to my Slack ID, you will see that there is a code which has been given to me, static website using HTML, CSS, as well as JavaScript also, right? So this is the whole code of a website. Now you have to understand that uh, depending on the whatever query you are giving it it will take time 
to generate the response and then send it back to you. And this is not only limited to chat, uh, GPT, open connector or third party API. You can also use your own database. Let's say I have also uh, get user. So I have also open automation for the slash command ready in this particular workspace of get user. And if I just uh, provide my So this is the user ID as well as the name of mine. So this is this particular automation was created to retrieve the data from a database and uh, provide the user ID as well as the name depending on the email ID provided. So yes, thank uh, that could be all for today. Thank you guys for watching this video and uh, you can find more info about automation from our community articles uh, named as Automation V2. Uh, and there are separate articles on Webhook as well as Scheduler. And you can understand more about these things to provide cron expressions, to provide different values and how to set different actions also as well. Thank you guys. And uh, let's see you guys, see you people in the next video. Bye-bye.